Hey guys, how's it going? Connor here today at eTrailer.com. We're going to be taking a look at the Draw Tight Class 3 trailer hitch here for our 2018 Chevrolet Express van. So this trailer hitch here is going to be an excellent option for our Express van. It has the Class 3 rating as well as the larger 2 inch receiver tube opening. Now this is going to allow us to do a couple different things. If we need to tow a trailer, we can certainly do that. Or if we need to free up some space inside the vehicle here with some bikes or a cargo carrier, we can do that as well easily. We're going to have a ton of selection to choose from because of this larger 2 inch receiver tube opening. And the class 3 capacities are going to provide us with more than enough capacity to tow a large trailer. So touching more on the towing cap capabilities of this trailer hitch here, we're going to have a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount we can pull. We're also going to have a 500 pound tow weight rating, which is going to be the downward force on the receiver tube. Now keep in mind, if we are towing, we may want to consider the use of a weight distribution system. And if we are using a weight distribution system, the capacities of our trailer hitch here are actually going to increase to 7,500 pounds for gross trailer weight and 750 pounds for the tongue weight. If we take a look at the safety chain tabs here welded to the bottom of the receiver tube and the hitch body, as you can see, these are nice and large. So we're definitely gonna have plenty of room for these larger clevis style hooks, which we're gonna find on our bigger trailers, as well as these smaller S-type hooks that we'll find on the medium to small duty trailers. So if we take a look at the side of the receiver tube, I'm sure you're gonna notice that there's two pinholes here, which is not present on all trailer hitches. That's because what Draw Tight does is they've drilled this extra pinhole here. It's gonna be the smaller of the two. And what this is for is this is actually designed for their specific J-pin stabilization device. And basically how this works is the big end is gonna go through the larger receiver tube opening. We're gonna have this small little tab here that'll line up with the smaller hole. And this is essentially gonna put pressure on our ball mount so we don't have any rattling issues. It also comes with a lock core for security as well. Just simply thread the nut on the back, then we can stick on the locking knob. So if we don't wanna use the J-pin stabilization device, this is sold separately, mind you, we can also just use a standard 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip, which again is sold separately as well. So in regards to installation, this is definitely going to be one of the easiest trailer hitches you can install at home by yourself. We don't need a lot of tools at all. Perhaps a torque wrench may be the only thing you don't have, and you can actually rent these from most local auto parts stores. But aside from that, there's only three bolts on each side, there's no drilling required. You simply set the hitch up in the position, tighten everything down, and you're done. So now we have a couple measurements here that are going to help when you're selecting your hitch mounted accessories, such as your ball mount or bike rack. The first measurement we have here is the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. That's going to be right about 18 inches. Now this measurement in particular is going to be useful when we're selecting our ball mount so we can make sure we get the correct rise and drop. And the other measurement we have for you here is going to be the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper. That's going to be about four and a half inches. Now this measurement in particular will be useful. We're selecting any folding bike racks or cargo carriers so we can make sure we have clearance of the vehicle. To start our installation here, we're going to get under the vehicle here along the driver or passenger side frame rail. It doesn't matter which we start with. We want to come in here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the holes that we're going to be using to install the trailer hitch. We're going to have two in the rear and then we're going to have two in the front as well. We're going to be using this first one here as well as the rear two. We're going to be using those same holes over on the other side of the vehicle as well. So our first step here, we want to take our carriage bolts and our spacer blocks. Now there's two different kinds of spacer blocks here. You see we have the long ones and we have the short ones. The short ones are going to go in these rear most holes and the longer one is going to go in this front hole here. So let's go ahead and just to show you here, we have these easy access holes on the inside. It's going to make this job super simple. So we're going to go ahead and install these now. Simply place the spacer block and the carriage bolt together and then drop it down into the hole. Then making sure we have the long spacer and we're using this forward most hole here. Just like that. And now we're going to go ahead and repeat that process on the other side. So the next step, once we have our hardware into position, we're going to go ahead and get our nuts ready along with our conical tooth washers. 
I do just want to point out that we can see the teeth on the washer here. That's actually going to be facing up towards the hitch, fired, followed by our hex nut here. So now we're going to get a helping hand to try to raise the hitch up into position because it is rather heavy. If you're doing this by yourself at home, it definitely is possible. If the vehicle is on the ground, you should be able to prop the hitch up to either side to get it in place. But since it's in the air, we're going to go ahead and recruit a helping hand to help us lift it. Now with an extra set of helping hands, we can go ahead and lift the hitch up into position on the vehicle. And we're just going to get a couple of the washers and bolts started for now. Now we're just going to hand tight all our fasteners here. We're going to repeat that process on the other side. Then we're going to come back with our wrench and our torque wrench to tighten everything down. That's going to complete our look and installation of the Draw Tight Class 3 trailer hitch here for our 2018 Chevrolet Express fan.